Ethereum is absolutely exploding. I'm seeing so many massive price predictions for Ether in 2021, and it's hard to say exactly which one of these predictions is going to be right. But one thing that I do think is entirely possible in the long term is that ETH could be worth trillions of dollars in terms of its market cap. So I want to focus on one major reason why in this video as a blockchain developer who works the Ethereum protocol on a daily basis. So before we get into that, you know, if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to learn how to become a blockchain master step by step from start to finish, then head on over to dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. And last but not least, I hate that I have to add these disclaimers to the videos, but you know, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not telling you to buy Ether. And then also there are lots of scammers down in the comment section below impersonating me. So just don't even interact with them. I'll never ask you for your phone number. I'll never ask you to invest with me. So why could Ethereum's market cap be worth trillions of dollars one day, you know, sending the price of one Ether to ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 plus? Well, you have to start by thinking everything that you can do with Ethereum. So Ethereum is a cryptocurrency, but it's also a blockchain, a worldwide computer that supports smart contracts, lets you write programs that can be run in a decentralized way. So one of the biggest use cases right now is decentralized finance or DeFi for short. This is basically taking almost everything you can do in the current traditional financial system and moving it over to the blockchain and also some new things. And the things that we can't do quite yet are going to be available very soon. So when you have to think about this, the total addressable market is huge. But one that I want to focus on today is derivatives. So what is a derivative? Well, it's a financial security that derives its value from something else. The derivative itself is a contract between two or more parties, and the derivative derives its price from fluctuations in the underlying asset. So let me give you a really simple example to understand how that works. So let's say you buy a concert ticket. Whenever you purchase that ticket, it's a contract that you have a seat in a venue for a music performance on a specific date. All right. And if you get closer to that date and you don't want to go to the concert anymore, you could sell that ticket to a friend or you could buy it, you know, way in advance and sell it for a higher price if the event gets sold out. But either way, that ticket is a contract that you are the person that has a claim on that seat. And the whole idea is that ticket can change hands for more money. So derivatives work in a very similar way in the financial system. But instead of, you know, seats in a concert, they represent other things like, you know, shares of a stock, you know, commodities, currencies, indexes, or even interest rates. But the whole idea is you're trading contracts and not actually these things themselves. Some common derivatives are futures, options, and swaps. So now that's an overview of what derivatives are. Let's talk about why they could be so huge for Ethereum. Well, first of all, you have to look at the size of the derivatives markets in the first place. It's about one quadrillion dollars. I mean, it's an insane amount of money. Compare that to other markets. You know, bonds are about $128 trillion. Stocks are about $69 trillion. And the crypto market's only about $1 trillion. Now, even if a fraction of this market moves over to blockchain and starts using Ethereum, then that would be trillions of dollars secured on top of the platform. Now, I know that doesn't necessarily mean that Ethereum, Ether, the underlying asset itself, the market cap goes up by trillions of dollars. But I do still think it could have an impact on the price, sending the market cap up into the trillions of dollars for a few reasons, which I'll talk about right now. So one big reason is exposure to ETH through using DeFi. So whenever you do DeFi, you at very minimum have to hold ETH to pay the gas fees on the network. All right. And then for a lot of the DeFi trading out there, ETH is used as a reserve asset or an underlying asset as collateral. And also historical data shows that the more people use Ethereum and Bitcoin, that there is a exponential relationship in the value of the network itself based on Metcalf's law. And you can see that data plotted out here uh, and the number of active addresses on the Ethereum network and also the Bitcoin network and what happened to the price. This is put out by global macro investor from Raul Paul. And if that's true and Ethereum adoption keeps accelerating like it is right now, then that could almost easily send ETH's market cap into the trillions of dollars and derivatives could play a huge part of that. And to keep this in perspective, ETH only has to grow by six times its current size to pass $1 trillion. And if it doubles from there, then we're in the multi-trillion dollar territory. And I know that even sounds insane to some people, and nobody has a crystal ball, but this space is accelerating at a rapid rate. So why would you use DeFi in the first place? Like, why would you do derivatives on top of Ethereum and not just in the regular financial markets? Well, number one, it's a completely open system, okay? So there's no red tape. No one tell, can tell you, no one can tell you you can't do it. You don't have to KYC. You don't have to be approved. And this opens up the derivatives markets to lots of people who currently don't have access to it. And so in a world where the individual investor is starting to gain power against the institutions, like we've seen with all the Wall Street bets stuff that's been going on the past few weeks, we're seeing that large collectives can move the needle and have a massive impact. And that could hold true for the derivatives market on top of DeFi. You have really fast, clear, and transparent settlement, which you don't necessarily have in the current market. So another reason is you have really fast, 
clear and transparent settlement, which you don't necessarily have in the current markets. And the last thing is just giving you exposure to derivatives on assets you can't really get access to in the traditional markets. So basically digital assets, cryptocurrencies that don't have derivative forms in traditional markets. So don't underestimate this last part, especially when it talks about, you know, bringing value to the Ethereum network. Because if you start trading derivatives of crypto assets on DeFi, a lot of times what can happen is the derivatives market itself can be much, much bigger than the underlying market. If you want to check out DeFi derivatives now, what are some projects that you can look at? We can go to DeFiPulse.com, filter by the derivatives tab and see an entire list here. But I'll go ahead and call out a few notable ones right now. The first one is Synthetics. This is a derivatives liquidity protocol. It's one of the leaders in the DeFi space. It's been around for a long time and it's been really innovative. So currently there's uh, close to $2 billion worth of value locked into Synthetix and it powers lots of other applications in this space. And you can also visit Synthetix Exchange to see how you can get exposure to these underlying assets. So they use the idea of synths, which is kind of just like a rebranded term for a derivative itself. And you can see a full list of examples here. And then two others that I want to call out that let you trade options on Ethereum is open, and then also Hedgic. And those are some DeFi apps that are doing derivatives right now on top of Ethereum that you can use today. And I highly encourage you to go check them out, see how they work. That being said, there are risks associated with these protocols. So of course, be careful before you try to do anything. But these are some of the early leaders in the space who are doing derivatives on top of Ethereum. And I expect lots more to come in the future and for these protocols to evolve and mature. And as that happens, I can definitely see us capturing a lot more value of derivatives on top of Ethereum as a platform inside of DeFi and started to siphon off at least a small fraction of that one quadrillion market cap that exists in the traditional derivatives market. And if that happens, then Ethereum could be worth trillions of dollars in terms of its market cap. I mean, think about it. Like I said earlier, we're not that far away from one trillion and derivatives are just one of the things that could get us there. So I hope you like this video. As always, you know, smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm, subscribe to this channel that really helps these videos out so that more people can find them and learn about blockchain. And if you're as fascinated with this technology as I am and you want to take the next step, then how can you become a blockchain developer today? Well, you can get on my YouTube homepage. You can find any of my free courses there, like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. And if you like those, you want to take the next step, or hey, maybe you want to take a master shortcut entirely, I can try to become a blockchain developer step-by-step -step over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You don't have to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero programming background become real-world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. Hope you like this video. And until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.